Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle, and today we're going to be making a recipe that you guys sent me. A lot of you sent me. A lot of you sent me. <laughs> and it's this cheese made from cauliflower. Yes, you heard that right. I was immediately fascinated. I was like, wait, what? Cauliflower? Cause like, I mean, I just don't feel like cauliflower has a naturally cheesy flavor to it. The original recipe is not vegan. The original recipe uses cauliflower, ghee, which is vegetarian, but not vegan, and gelatin, which isn't even vegetarian. So gelatin, like the gelatin you eat in jello or just plain old gelatin, is made up of animal bones. The gelatin comes from crushed animal bones. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little bit of science in the kitchen today. Uh, I'm not great normally with that kind of thing. I openly can admit like I never went to culinary school. I'm just doing my best in the kitchen here. All I can go off of is what I've learned in like six years of working in food content. So bear with me. So my plan of attack for this to try to make it vegan is to replace the ghee with equal parts butter and refined coconut oil. And make sure you do use refined coconut oil because otherwise it's gonna impart a coconut flavor. So for the gelatin, we're gonna turn to a vegan substitute that I've used many times over the years, which is agar agar. It's a all natural sort of gelatin substitute derived from algae. Agar agar is more potent than gelatin is, so we're gonna wanna reduce the amount and we're gonna see what happens. So science, together. You're my science partner. We're my lab partner. So put on your goggles, grab your lab coat, and let's get into this recipe. All right, so we've got the humble cauliflower here. And the first thing we wanna do is take it over the sink and rinse it off. Give it a nice rinse, rinse. Then we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of these leaves. Okay, now I'm gonna splice this in half and I'm going to get that stem out. You can save the stem and use it in sautés or soups, whatever. I love the stem, but for the texture of this cheese, I'm not gonna use it. Fun little fact is that cauliflower is like 92 to 94% water, so we don't actually need to soak our agar agar ahead of time because we're gonna blend this up. We're gonna move these over the stove and I'm just gonna steam them in some water for about five to six minutes until they're nice and tender and cooked through. Now it's time for us to put everything into our blender. And then we are going to add our refined coconut oil, vegan butter, blend that up until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna add in our agar agar and blend that again for just about 30 seconds or so. Now that that's all blended up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heat it up on the stove. That's what we have to do in order to activate our agar agar. All right, I'm gonna let this cool down to room temperature and then I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna toss it in the fridge for a couple of hours so that it can really solidify. There's a lot riding on the success of this because I don't want to go back to the drawing boards. I don't want to be Bill Merle the science, <laughs> Merle Nye the science guy. So this has been in the fridge for about two hours. You know what? I think it's like, let's, let's just, let's, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's flip it over and let's see. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow, TT, do you see this big lady? It's solid, TT, do you see that big girlie? She's excited. You're a good girl. Let's try slicing into it and see what happens. You know what, people? It did the thing. It's doing the, the cheese thing. Hell yeah. It definitely shreds, damn. This is really cool. This is cauliflower though. So I feel like it's gonna taste like cauliflower. But don't worry, I'm gonna try this quickly and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna add in some flavors to see if we can give it more of a cheese flavor. I mean, maybe it'll taste like cheese. I don't think it's gonna taste like cheese yet though, but let's see. Oh dear God, that's nasty, y'all. It's like sweet gelatinous cauliflower mash. It looks like I see the cheesy look, I see that. 
maybe more like a provolone, which I never really liked. It tastes like cauliflower, period. It tastes like cauliflower. That's it. But fear not, because now that we know we can get it solid, which is cool, we can add in some flavor and make this hopefully taste more like cheese. Let's, let's, let's do this again. Okay, we're at it again. I got my steamed cauliflower right here. Now we're gonna add in our fats, and this time I'm gonna do three tablespoons of coconut oil and only one tablespoon of vegan butter because I didn't really taste the vegan butter when I did half and half. And I'm not wasting my Miyoko's butter if I can't even taste it, you know what I mean? Shit's been pricey. So let's add our nutritional yeast in. And that'll add a nice cheesy flavor, hopefully, to it. And then I've got a fancy schmancy ingredient, which is lactic acid. It's just gonna give this cheese the tartness that dairy would have. You know like yogurt, the tartness you get in yogurt? That's what we're gonna be imparting into this. The cauliflower. Normally I would add a little bit of sugar to balance out the tartness, but there's already plenty of sweetness, so. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. All right, we're gonna blend that up. One tablespoon of agar agar. And now I'm just gonna blend this on high for about 30 seconds. Now we're gonna take it over to the stove and we're gonna heat it up. We need the agar agar to activate, so we're gonna put it in a pot, we're gonna heat it up until we can see it kind of coming together and binding and maybe getting a little bit, a little gelatinous, if you will. Okay, it's the next day and we have our cheese. I'm not gonna lie, I've been up for a few hours knowing I need to like film this, but I've been scared because I'm worried that somehow this isn't gonna work and I'm gonna be crushed because I don't wanna do this again and I'm out of cauliflower. So let's, let's get into this. Let's get it out of this mold. Looks pretty freaking legit. Oh my goodness. Wow! All right, let me take a bite of it. I'm scared. Still smells like cauliflower, if I'm being totally honest. This still needs tweaking for sure. I think if you're gonna try to do this at home, I would add maybe even a little more lactic acid, a little more salt, and maybe another tablespoon or two of the nutritional yeast. Because the cauliflower flavor is still pretty overpowering. I think it could also be good to like, when you're steaming the cauliflower, maybe add the salt to the cauliflower so it really absorbs it. But like, all things considered, from where we started to where we've landed, I'm very pleased. Let's test this cheese's toastability and meltability. It was impervious to the toaster oven. It, I, it would not melt. And it was still like kind of solid when I took it out. The bread was burning, I had to take it out. So I put that bread in the microwave and the microwave seemed to get it to change. You know, it got a little bit softer. I would say more of like a brie consistency. It's never looked more like mashed potatoes in its life, but hey, you know what, it's tasty when it's heated up. And then I boiled some pasta and I tried to see if I could like put it in the pasta. Cause in the original video, she was like, it melts and it's like, you can put it in pasta or in eggs or whatever, you can grate it. And you can grate this cheese, which is awesome. Is it a perfect cheese substitute? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. The original one that I tried, I would rank that one maybe a three because I mean, the thing that's giving it points is the fact that it was solidified and it sliced and it could be shredded but the taste was just cauliflower. There was nothing else. I don't know how much the ghee is adding in her original recipe, but it's gotta be a lot if it was getting like, you know, that much praise because this tasted just like cauliflower. So with the seasonings and like, you know, adapting it to a vegan recipe, it's fine. It doesn't stretch. It doesn't like totally replicate cheese. The cauliflower flavor is still there. You could take like cheesy mashed potatoes and put them in cheese form. That's kind of like what this tastes like. I would rank this updated one like a 5.5. It doesn't really operate like cheese, but it's a simple enough recipe. It's cool that cauliflower can do this. For sure, totally. All right, well, we did that. Let me know in the comments below what the next recipe is that you'd like me to try. If you wanna hang out with me between videos, I stream on Twitch. You can go hang out with me there. Join my Discord. Everyone in that community is lovely, awesome, fun. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes footage of the making of each video. With that, I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful day. 
Ciao for now. I'll see you on the next one.